hey virgo what up welcome back to my channel um yeah i'm just gonna do a reading for you guys i felt like you guys needed relationship reading and career reading so we're gonna try to just go ahead and knock out both categories in one read um i tried to do the all signs reading for mondays guys but my dog literally would not stop barking uh it's crazy because today i noticed her bark has gotten significantly louder and uh she was at home for a few hours without me so i feel like she probably had that time to practice and it is a lot that that bark is loud she's a beagle pit bull mix so beagles bark really loud but uh yeah i couldn't even finish the reading because she just would not stop barking uh and it was just too much okay but um yeah i look i feel like virgo's having a lot of decisions to make very difficult decisions i just saw the two of swords and you guys are just stuck between a rock and a hard place i feel lots of swords that i'm seeing here um very interesting energy um i'm gonna just hop right in and i'm gonna let you guys know as a disclaimer uh i don't really feel that great today um i'm like mentally feeling pretty like <sighs> rested like i'm getting my mental body like very organized and relaxed which is really nice but physically i just do not feel my best like uh, if anybody knows what methotrexate is, I took my methotrexate today and it just makes you feel really sick uh, sometimes. And even before that, I was feeling quite nauseous. So y'all just send me good energy. I know I'm always like asking you guys to send me healing energy, but I got through a lot of different health changes. So I would really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, let's get into the love and the career aspect. We're going to do love first for you guys, Virgo. I'm so sorry that the uh, that the evolution cards didn't post last time. The my phone literally ran out of storage right when I pulled them out, and I just could not like I did not have the energy to like edit like edit the video like and then like export it. It was just too much work. I really have to like clear my phone my phone's uh space. Anyways, uh, let's get into the read. I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm just venting. But anyways, uh, we got this Ace of Wands here. I feel like lots of people. Um, when I did the all signs reading, this came out for Aries, <laughs> but I just want to say that, um, you guys got lots of new opportunities to apply your passions. I just saw 222. I've been seeing that number so much this past week, uh, and today as well, but I feel like you guys having a uh, new, uh, new outlets to, um, apply your passion. So that's pretty awesome. If you guys were in a stuck energy or just feeling kind of like, um, you know kind of just bored and apathetic i feel like you guys have reached a space where you guys are ready to go ahead and like um you know feel passionate again feel your fire burning once more so good for you uh in love so uh that's awesome what else is going on for love for virgo great spirit Ooh, okay okay i'm gonna just take that one because it was about to pop out uh, when i was doing the all signs reading as well i kept saying people are going for their nines and tens and I really like that uh, because we do have this full moon in Leo on the 28th, which is going to be a, uh, it's a wolf moon. So wolves are all about uh, traveling in packs. So there's an energy of lots of collaboration, reciprocity, uh, giving, giving and receiving, but just definitely collaboration, working in groups, working in packs. Some people can be a lone wolf. So some of you guys could be a uh, you know content with kind of being on your own and working on your own but it's definitely a time to collab and work in groups uh and if you always work in groups maybe you want to try the opposite and work alone we got this ace of wands still at the bottom of the deck so you guys are definitely feeling nice and like renewed uh in the sense of passion virgo so that's pretty amazing in regards to your relationships in love uh something made you incredibly happy and full because we got this ten of cups coming out you guys are going for your nines and tens people want to feel happy people will want to feel full and satiated uh this vein be like popping out of my neck i don't know why it's always done that since i was a kid when i'm just like talking and i'm passionate <laughs> but when i got the hiccups oh yeah i'm all oh, messed up today i'm sorry i ain't apologizing no more <laughs> we all human but anyways uh, we got this ten of cups so you guys are definitely going after something that makes you very happy in regards to love full satiety in your recent past what else is going on for virgos actually i think i'm just gonna pull like three cards and clarify for each um for each topic wow these nines and tens i'm not kidding y'all it's coming right out we got this nine of wands in reverse so i feel like you guys let me just get one more card out let me get one more card out and then we'll talk about it 
and this is in regards to love so this is pretty interesting yeah we got the queen of swords so i felt like you guys were able to put your sword away in regards to love but it's looking like maybe not just yet what not quite yet right okay so but we're gonna clarify because we uh we got some stuff here that's pretty interesting uh we got this nine of wands in reverse so you know you know that's all about guys you guys are exhausted okay I can relate to this personally, which is crazy because I'm over here looking exhausted as hell. But um, anyways, uh, in the present, you're looking, uh, you're feeling exa uh, exhausted. In the recent past, something definitely made you happy, brought you happiness, uh, satiety, fullness, just like the happiest a person can be. You know what I'm saying? And then right after, for some reason, you're feeling exhausted and fatigued and you're questioning your motives in life. Like, what am I doing? What am I doing it for? Uh, I feel like in regard, this is in regards to love, so I'm going to make sure that I gear it towards love, but I feel like something happened in love that has exhausted you and fatigued you, and you're questioning why you're there. I, I think you're trying to wonder, uh, maybe you feel like your partner isn't working with you or not wanting to work with you to produce abundance, or maybe you're working by yourself to uh, create abundance, or maybe your partner is, but someone is feeling tired and drained. It could be you, Virgo. It could be your partner or uh, someone who you're dealing with romantically. But uh, why is this here? Why is this nine of wands here in reverse? Why is this exhaustion? Damn, so many cars flew out. I feel like somebody came clean about something. You guys found out about something going on. I got the ace of wands at the bottom of the deck again. I feel like it's because you guys are you guys are full. You're feeling fiery and passionate, but you're just tired for some reason. And I want to say that I'm feeling like somebody's partner is draining them. That sucks. Let's. Why is this here, Grace Spirit? Why is this nine of wands here? And it's crazy because I was just exhausted, but now I'm feeling amp. Okay, these cards came out, so I'm gonna just take them wow okay i'm glad i took these cards we got the magician in, in reverse somebody's tricking you virgo somebody is manipulating you manipulation for sure and that's why you're so exhausted if you're wondering why you're so tired it's because you're being manipulated okay somebody's manipulating you somebody's draining you okay could be doing magic on you you could need to do some cord cutting i'm getting heavy manipulation here okay that's why you're exhausted virgo someone is robbing you of your goddamn energy and you're and you're your your magic, your stuff, your good stuff, your your faith, trust, and pixie dust. Somebody's stealing your shit. And it could be a water sign if you're dealing with a water sign. Okay, we got this Prince of Cups uh, coming out right after that. So I feel like someone is emotionally draining you, Virgo. If they're not just manipulating you and just kind of like all kinds of crazy ways, it could just also be emotional manipulation. Yeah, compassion, control, balance. So I feel like you applying your compassion and your balance and control to a emotional situation has got you really drained, Virgo. So just watch out. You could be pouring your out yourself a little bit too much in relationships. Okay, and someone could probably know this about you and they're using that to their advantage. Okay, so if this is not a relationship that's draining you, someone in your life, Virgo, I feel like this is not just romantic. I feel like this is also in life as well because I can relate. Uh, I had a work, I'm just to share a little bit. Uh, I have a work partnership where I was doing some trade work with a person and this person has drained me completely. Sorry guys, when I say that my boy, like I get calls every time, I'm not joking. But anyways, uh, like I was saying, it's not just romantic, okay, Virgos? I really want to stress that. I feel like I was sharing my story. That's what I was saying. Uh, this person's energy is just very draining. And it's funny because me and this person were doing, like, trade work. And it's supposed to be an even exchange of goods. Like, I helped them do a whole bunch of organizing and all this other shit. And they just, like, give me things that I need or, you know, share resources with me. But they weren't understanding that the energy exchange was not worth the exchange, right? This person is giving me things and sharing resources, and I'm grateful for it. But the amount of draining that this person takes out of me is just not worth the exchange. So I'm saying that to say, I'm sharing that to say, sometimes you guys are, you guys got to really realize when you're being drained and the fact that your compassionate nature, people will take advantage of that, Virgos. They will take advantage of it. I don't know how much I could stress that. I had to tell myself today for sure. I told my guy, like, look, 
I'm done like giving myself like being like being so nice in situations or trying to be so helpful rather and kind because not even about being nice I'm not really that nice like I'm more so a kind person giving very generous very compassionate so don't just make sure no one's taking advantage of your emotionally rich nature to the point where they're, you're allowing them to manipulate you and I know that this is true for you guys because I know you're gonna take the advice because we got the Queen of Swords coming right after that so you guys are definitely gonna be just kind of making sure that your heart and your head is on the same page and you are protecting yourself protecting your heart protecting your good stuff okay protecting that love and that spirit that's within you uh like i said i'm getting heavy uh romantic vibes with this and i'm also just getting general relationship stuff so let's see what you guys got going on in regards to um in regards to work and things like that virgos okay well, let's pull some evolution cards first. Let's get a couple cards just for relationships. What spirit wants you to know that could help you evolve in this in this way with this stuff, honey. I need a card that say stop giving up. <laughs> but for real though, okay? Let's see what spirit got for you. Wow. Okay, so I'm a shuffle, but these cards came out and they're kind of like hit me hard too. So which is crazy. Uh, but we have faith in nature. So spirit is just reminding you to take a moment, find peace and perspective while recharging the beauty of nature. Get out of nature. You guys are earth signs. Uh, we're earth signs, guys. We have to, we're like giant crystals, like very sensitive crystals at that. So we have to make sure we get ourselves out in nature and ground when we know that that's what we need to do, okay? I was on the train today and I rolled past a park and I was just daydreaming looking at that park. Like, ooh, just the thought of sitting my booty on that grass was just like, oh my God, so heavenly so when you feel like that go to nature how will i enjoy nature today embrace nature virgos especially when, after dealing with your crazy relationships okay then we have faith faith is taking a step forward even when you don't know the result so i feel like some of you guys could have some situations uh especially in regards to romance and relationships where you're having to really lean on faith okay and really trust your intuition and trust spirit and divinity so make sure you're doing that how will i take a leap of faith today have faith okay so let's move on to the career aspect of the reading hopefully it doesn't cut off if it does i'm sorry but there's a uh, no nah, i'm just playing i'm gonna finish it off <laughs> and i'm because i already gotta edit the video anyway because i got a call so i'm gonna finish it y'all and i'm staying on my schedule this week as y'all can see uh it's just i like a challenge you know i want to challenge myself to stay on even if i don't feel good tower moment so in 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 work guys and your passion projects all these things you guys are definitely um having a tower moment i shuffled the cards and ended up at the bottom of the deck again subconsciously you guys are going through lots of towers you're having to be the high priestess and really lean on your intuition really lean on that inner light and that inner voice that's why i think you guys are really moving off of faith and intuition right now uh because things are just kind of crashing down for you in a lot of senses we got the tower again and the ace of wands again so these cards are steady coming out you're definitely feeling passionate very uh driven and creative and all those things but a lot of things had to kind of end for you virgo because you need to be happy you need to feel uh rich and you just need to feel abundant in all of your endeavors so all the towers that are falling down i can't make it up I just shuffled the mess out of these cards and tower just keep ending up at the bottom. Subconsciously, you're going through a tower. Your whole subconscious uh, space, Virgo, in regards to work and career and money and things like that is the tower. Shit is just falling. Wow. Y'all see the way this card just flew out? I can't make it up. Even my dog just looked. We got the death card. Something in it for you guys. In regards to work, partnerships, things are either ending or just straight up transforming. Either way, it's very helpful for you. Okay, you gotta stop. Sorry, y'all. You gotta stop. My dog always knows that chewing up her bed is gonna get my attention, so she tries to, like, tear the stuff in and out of her bed. It's really annoying. But anyways, uh, this death card shows that, like, something in regards to work, partnerships... Like I said, something has either just ended for you guys or is completely transformed. I realize that a lot is definitely ending for me or transforming for me. So I feel like a lot of you guys can relate to that in the recent past. You guys got new opportunities coming. So just know that whatever's ending, let it fall. Let it end, okay? We just saw 555. Five, five. That number is about movement and freedom, okay? So you're freeing yourself from these negative and, and 
un, like just not fulfilling spaces to be in and you're getting brand new things spirit is literally replacing old with the new constantly for you and allowing you to grow and and transform in that space so you know everyone's it, it's just beautiful like like when i tried to do the all signs reading the whole energy was of transformation and movement and of course passion damn you got the nine of cups happiness guys wish fulfillment you guys got something coming in in regards to work and projects and things money that you're going to be completely emotionally happy about spirit is trying to bring you emotional happiness when it comes to work and money okay we got the queen of cups at the bottom of the deck i can't make this up this is all water okay you could be working with lots of water signs or just in a space where you just have cups around you love around you um and, and that's beautiful that's gorgeous and emotional intelligence people are talking about their feelings and trying to be considerate of other people's feelings and things like that so i'm loving this for you guys let's get one more let's get one more i don't even think we got to really clarify anything this is pretty like wow we got the three of swords so i feel like something will happen and we will probably have to clarify this for sure but we got this three of swords coming out uh for uh the future the near future energy for your projects and your work and your money okay something's gonna be a heartbreak okay something's gonna be a three of swords uh let's see that's kind of interesting for work uh so mentally uh logically something is just gonna probably break your heart in some type of way but it's gonna be after extreme happiness so i don't know guys we got the art card or the temperance in reverse so i feel like hmm this is interesting guys i ain't gonna lie to you let's see what this is about i'm very curious very very curious mm -hmm. yeah okay extremes somebody's going to through extremes right now for sure there's a lack of balance when it comes to work so i feel like either you're extremely happy or you're extremely unhappy when it comes to work so something's gonna end something's gonna transform you're gonna be very happy right now in the present you're very happy emotionally but in the near future something extreme is going to take place where something's going to come and access and it's going to throw you off balance and it's all these swords because we got the knight of swords at the bottom so i feel like someone's going to come towards you very impulsively i feel like everyone's very impulsive right now their passion is just kind of colliding with their logic or depending on whatever their sign is so i feel like a lot of like kind of random shit is happening right now okay so i feel like something very random is going to happen in your work arena and with your money and it's going to bring you some type of stress uh but we got the sun card also also <laughs> this is funny because it's very contradictory but this came out i feel like whatever the heartbreak is or whatever the lack of balance or the access is is going to happen in your near future it's going to be one of those blessing in disguise kind of things where it's going to be some crazy ass shit but you're going to be immediately happy as hell afterward so whatever ends or whatever happens that causes this this um access or this extreme and this uh three of uh, this three of swords kind of energy this heartbreak energy and in, in, when it comes to work and money you're going to be happy as a result so you're going to start off sad but you're going to be happy what else is going on with this can we get another lovers in reverse y'all y'all gonna get out of i feel like y'all gonna get out of either a relationship a work partnership something y'all gonna get out of something that's gonna make you so happy i'm getting very much so freeing yourself from a from a partnership okay that's what i'm getting for somebody out there that's really crazy that's interesting um yeah because of this manipulation somebody might be working with their with their partner like with their love partner or maybe working with their friends and family uh if you're working with your boyfriend girlfriend whoever your partner or your family and friends and you're not happy working with them that may end very soon but it's gonna bring you lots of happiness but that's because there's manipulation going on okay and it's one-sided like the emotions are just not balanced the give and take is just not balanced so if you're in an interaction where you feel like it's not balanced virgo y'all gonna y'all gonna be out of that soon whether you want to or not that's just what's gonna happen because shit's not gonna be neutral anymore it's not gonna be smooth sailing anymore something's gonna happen and it's gonna throw it off and it's gonna bring you happiness to take yourself out of it wow that that sucks i feel like virgos are going through lots of rough stuff right now I'm sending you guys love, okay? Send me healing. I've seen you love. I got plenty of love. Plenty of that. All right, let's see. What what evolution cards can you give Virgos, okay, for their career, their money, their prosperity? Their prosperity pack, please, Great Spirit. 
what can we give to Virgos for their prosperity path, please? I'm going to just start saying prosperity. It's much easier than saying career. Love. Oh, oh. Damn, nature. Spirit say get y'all ass out in nature, okay? Go around. I know I'm taking this advice. Tomorrow, I am literally spending the entire day in nature. Because I know that's going to make me feel a million times better than I do today. Watch. Next time y'all see me on Thursday, I'm going to be looking real good. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I, I'm just goofy right now. I feel like spirit trying to make me laugh. <sighs> what else is going on? What else can you give Virgo for their prosperity path? Listen, just try to come out. So make sure you're listening to people. Pay attention to what they're saying to you. Listen to them. Pay attention to the words people are saying to you, Virgo. Don't make excuses for nobody. Don't try to look at it, you know. Y'all. All right, next one is positive. When you are positive, you add to every situation. How will I contribute something positive today? Be positive. So just work on your happiness, Virgo. Uh, ground yourself, take care of yourself, be positive, and be courageous. The real magic happens when you have the courage to get out of your comfort zone. How will I discover the endless possibilities outside of my comfort zone today? Be courageous. So spirit is probably shaking shit up in your relationships and with work and with your prosperity path, Virgo, because spirit really wants you to get out of your comfort zone, okay? Spirit wants you to be courageous, okay? I just saw one, two, three, four, so... There we go. It's it's that say la vie. Like it is what it is. So expect for some crazy stuff to happen. I should have, you know, this is just the update from the reading that you guys had yesterday. Uh, but I'll probably do a next 48 on Thursday or something. Whatever feels fitting that day. I might just drop a reading for you guys every day this week just to make up for me being completely out of, you know, out of out of commission last week.